you can. You won't. You don't stop. All right, power off. Guys, if that looks familiar to you and you're procrastinating and not getting your business plan put together yet, what are you waiting for? We're already halfway through December. We're coming up in the beginning of the year. And if you haven't thought about what your goals are, where you wanna go, and where you've been this past year, you're already left in the dust. So this episode is dedicated to da -da -da -da, your business plan. What should you have in it? Why is it important? And why are you still waiting if you haven't done it? Number one, if you have done it, congratulations, yay. What's interesting to note is that as little as 5% of the world's population actually sets goals. And if you're in business, you need to do that on an annual basis. In my opinion, it should actually be broken down into even a quarterly basis, but we'll get to that later. In the meantime, take some time, sit down, review where your business has been over the last 12 months, find out how many buyers you worked with, how many sellers you worked with, what were all the sources of business that, that those transactions came from, and then develop a plan specifically around trying to build a business that's well balanced between all those different sources. When we're putting our business plan together, I think that there are four core lead pillars that you should have within your business. It has to do with your database or your sphere of influence and past clients, your whole referral base. Number two, you should have a good source of online leads. So you can go out and buy your leads through sources like Zillow or OpCity. You can go set up profiles on other websites in order to receive leads on a referral basis. But go out there and make sure you have an online presence. Make sure you have a Google My Business page set up. Make sure you have a Facebook page set up. Make sure you claim all the different online profiles you can. Google your name. <laughs> make sure you're the first person that comes up, especially if you have a very popular name, or I should say one where there's a lot of population with your same name. Google your name in real estate. Your goal is to come up first. So make that a priority. Lead pillar number three, is gonna be doing open houses. Open houses are back. Make sure you're making your plans around getting out there and meeting clients or potential clients face to face. But don't just sit in an open house. Come up with some tactics and a plan around how you're gonna maximize the number of people through and what you're gonna say to them. Remember, be intentional about all the action you take in order to enhance the opportunities that you have. And number four is gonna be our geographic farm. So pick a neighborhood, somewhere between 500 to 1,000 homes, find out what the turnover rate is, make sure you're not marketing an area where only two out of 500 homes sell every year, find something that has a decent turnover rate, five to 10%, and then start coming up with a plan to contact and mail and even door knock with in that community or neighborhood at least two to three times per month, every single month for a year. So those are the top four. There are plenty more tactics you can build in, but that's the basis of putting a plan together. Number two, what are your goals? Once you set your goals, how much business do you actually want to obtain next year? Do you wanna go from 10 transactions to 20 transactions? Do you wanna go from 20 transactions to 50 transactions? Lay it all out and then reverse engineer what you're gonna to have to do to get there. Do you know what your lead conversion rate is? Do you know how many appointments you have to go on before you convert a client into signing either a buyer agreement or a listing agreement? Do your research, find out what you're doing, and then figure out the skills you need to work on in order to, again, obtain what goals you want to accomplish, and then put it into your calendar. If it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist, right? And then number three, if you're waiting, please don't wait. If you're trying to get somewhere, you need a map, you need to figure out how to get there. Take the time this time of year, which is a great time of year to do that. Slow down, analyze your business, and get it out there on paper. And then don't just slide it away. Come back to it. Come back to it every 90 days. Measure where you've been. If you're not measuring where you've been, you don't know the progress you're making. So these are just some of the basics to putting a plan together. And again, I can't reiterate it enough. Stop procrastinating. It's time for you to kick butt in 2022. I'm Brad Gill, Next Home Lifestyles. I hope this information helps. If you're interested in getting your own business plan put together or would like some advice in looking it over, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to set aside some time and walk through the process of business planning with you. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Broker Corner. I hope you guys got something out of it. Can't wait to share another one with you soon.